here is my forklift. I've owned this thing for a while. And I can swear. I don't need a forklift in my life anymore. I've bought and owned forklifts for so many years. I need them for a job. They end up sitting. Then you go use them. Then they don't want to work. I don't know why forklifts are like boats to me. They just don't work when I need them. So here it is. 7,000 pound lift all. Straight six. Regular the mast. It's at 12 high. It's a big forklift. Um, but yeah. So the last time I go to use it. Freaking starter solenoid takes a crap. Burns the whole positive side on the starter. So here's a new one. It's been sitting like this for about a month. I'm trying to clean up my yard here. So this thing needs to go bye bye. Got a guy interested in it. So I'm trying to get it up to going. So let's get the starter solenoid in. Come on, touch. Put this back up. Right, when you place the solenoid. You got your solenoid, you got your spring re release. And that's all go back together. Oh. I only got that pretty much. Mm. Just wanted to say it was 105 degrees out and did not realize how out of breath I was through the day. So sorry about the delays. Positive cable back on. My pickup's a gas. Don't judge me. I love diesels, but honestly, I love old diesels. Emissions have been the most downtime, the worst for my business ever. So, honestly, I just have gone. And because, like I said, I'm in California, emissions are big. You can see my dump truck there. Love the truck. The emissions is the only thing that's been an issue. I swear, the thing wants to do a region each time I really need it. Nice and organized in here. I have a future video coming. as me turning that actually into a utility bed. So let's see. Let's take the pause in and the ground. Let's hook her up. Boom. And now boom. Take this. But um, if you don't have one of these. I would suggest adding it to your thing. This is the off-brand Amazon one. I had an actual Power Probe, the company that makes them. Um, it finally broke. Well, it didn't break. I broke it. So, but what you do? Take it. You can see right now I have my extension on it. You disconnect that. That part. Throw that back in the box. Um, 
One thing I don't like about this kit, I can't remember if it was the same with my old one, is to put it away in the box, you got to take your contact and your cover off, which just kind of bugs me. You can say I'm weird. Just, it's more steps. So, we do, you hook up ground, ground, positive, positive, then you can see to turn on lights up but my screen's not working mm. there you go kz something something there you can press it, it says i have 12.2 volts right now sweet Alrighty. so first thing to do put that on there so I can get to the other side and we can test oh see I already know what's going on I forgot a wire on the starter at least I think I did I was curious I was like I feel like I'm missing something like I said, it's been a while since I took the solenoid apart. So you got a hot boom. There it is, people. Retard ebb and alert. Right here. Forgot the positive going to the ignition. remember that I should check the oil she does burn a little bit all right let's add some oil to this puppy Only half of it went in. Jeez Louise.
again. <laughs> oh, I just want this thing out of my life almost. Oh, stupid. Stop it. Now, it's leaking fluid out of the steering reservoir. Uh, cylinder, whatever you want to call that. Uh. Uh. Oh, I'm getting vapor. Uh, that kind of looks like fresh fuel right there on the line. I'm thinking fresh fuel lines would be a huge beneficial. I'm thinking all the way to the tank and just call it a day. To be continued. So I started kind of screwing around with stuff. I was noticing. Let's see. What was it? Aha. Uh -huh. Check it out. Here's my fuel line. You guys see how much fuel? I don't know if you can see it there. It's covering that. It's puking out fuel. All right there. So I got to figure out where that enters. Because there's. Oh. Doesn't help when the hose clamp's not even connected. Hopefully that was my issue, and that's why it always loses its prime pups and spucks and butters and hiccups and how easy would that be? Has a dumb little reservoir. <laughs> what? Pens oil. Pens oil. This is Preston. Prestone. That's what you should call Preston. Prestone. See if we have any brake function. Ooh, it's hard as a rock now. So I must just have a slight leak somewhere.
all of our little glory. Honestly, I think this one's going to hit down the road. Used it for a couple draws, but just don't use it. It honestly just sits. Like, it's been broken for, jeez, four, five months. Just sitting here doing nothing. And I think maybe one time I thought, oh, maybe I'll use it. But honestly, come over here. My John Deere 210, and I got forks that go on the front of that. Oh, it's somewhere out here. That I use all the time, so it's always ready to go. I pay a lot of maintenance into it, I upkeep it. This I just can't justify upkeeping it all the time. I don't use it. Honestly, a family member has a great all, a telehandler they call them, but some people call them great alls. It's so handy. I have access to that. You know, these are great, but again, don't have use for it. Um, so, yeah, I think I have a guy that's interested in it. He'll use it daily, so he can justify keeping up the maintenance on it. Just not worth it to me.